Senator Cantwell is joining me right now from Capitol Hill. Senator, thanks so much for the time. Yes, thank you. Of course. So you, many of you Democrats stayed up late last night speaking on the Senate floor. It was uh, part protest and it was also part to stall Senate business was kind of the, one of the points um, in protest of the Republican health care plan. It didn't stall anything. So what did it accomplish? Well, the Republicans are having a war on Medicaid, and Medicaid is a key part of our health care delivery system. It serves veterans, it helps our public health hospitals, it helps dealing with the opioid population, it takes people out of poverty and stabilizes them by giving them access to health care so that they can work. So all of these things, uh, our colleagues are trying to cut and devastate Medicaid, and they're trying to do it behind closed doors. So. We just ask that they come to the floor. If these are the concepts that they support, regardless of the bill, come to the floor and debate us on these concepts because the American public has a right to know if their health care costs are going to go up because of the actions of my colleagues. Well, of course, we don't know what the Republican bill will do to Medicaid because it hasn't actually been put out there quite yet. I mean, that's one oh, of the things we, that you, no, well, I mean, no, I'm just we, saying, we don't, we don't, you don't know the details yeah, because we don't know the details. Well, we know what the House is proposing, and as I said that uh, you played a little clip, we believe that it's going to be 80 percent of what the House is proposing. No one's backing away from this concept of a cap on Medicaid. In fact, they're just talking about what length of time. That is a devastating idea to the health care delivery system. So you can talk to doctors, you can talk to hospitals, you can talk to law enforcement, you talk to housing people, you can talk to chambers of commerce. None of them will be supportive of this idea of capping Medicaid. Now there's lots but of ways to innovate and deliver health care and make it more cost effective, but those aren't the ideas that our colleagues uh, are talking about right now. They're talking about capping and cutting Medicaid, including veterans. But Senator, on, on what Democrats, what you what you can do about this, that's kind of one of my questions. I mean, there are not only with the protests last night on the Senate floor, but there are other maneuvers being considered by Democrats, like blocking hearings from taking place in order to slow things down. Do you support that? I support every effort that gets our colleagues on the other side of the aisle to tell us why they want to cut Medicaid. But because are you concerned the, that you then just look like you guys are just obstructionists? No, 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 no. This, look, first of all, this is one-seventh of our economy. It's a critical aspect of how we move forward economically. So what we want is our colleagues who may not be paying as much attention to this because it is behind closed doors to understand how dangerous a precedent this would be to cut Medicaid. And if they listen to people in their communities, I guarantee you there will be businesses, there will be law enforcement, there will be doctors, they will all tell them that this is not the wise way to do it. The fact that we've expanded Medicaid and covered people under Medicaid uh -huh. has actually solved cost problems for us in the healthcare system. So we in want the, every attention to give to our colleagues so that they'll come and debate that very point. Well, on the point of uh, the talks being in secret, I mean, there are example after example of Republicans saying the exact same thing about Democrats that Democrats are saying about them today. Governor Mike Pence, Senator John Cornyn, Senator Mitch McConnell, we don't even need to play the sound bites. It goes on and on and on. It's not like you're not going to see the bill before you vote on it. I mean. That's um, definitely. I have, been, I, I have been doing events around my state with various health care individuals. Just last Saturday, did one with veterans to bring attention to this issue. So you're right. People can argue about process. Certainly, the process is not illuminating the choices for the American people, and that's a problem. And certainly the process that the Affordable Care Act went through, as a member of finance, I can tell you it right. was an open process. So. The issue really is to put front and center so that we have a lively debate about whether it's a good idea to cut and cap Medicaid. To me, that's the key focus. Senator Marie Cantwell, really appreciate you coming on. We'll see when that Thank bill hits you. and how much time you have to read it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Senator.